following two successive home defeats and only one win in five. Paul Holleran has said that his side have been too complacent these past two months and that the quality just hasn't been there in Leamington's final third. The manager will be looking to put more points on the board before the busy Christmas period begins. The breaks have lacked goals in recent weeks and after failing to find the net against Curzon Ashton here last time out, their jobs have been made all the more difficult following the departure of top scorer Matt Stenson in midweek. The striker, who bagged six of Leamington's 18 league goals this season, completed a move to National League side Solihull Muirs for an undisclosed fee on Thursday. Further transfer news, Joe Magunda has also left the club on a dual registration deal with Tamworth, the midfielder aiming for more game time with the deal. With these two departures in mind, Hollerin makes four changes to the side who lost 1-0 to Curzon Ashton a fortnight ago. Jack Lane fills in for the absent Jamie Hood at centre-back. Ahmad Oban and Joe Clark come back into the side. Anthony Dwyer is selected to fill the boots of the departed Matt Stenson up front. Darlington came out 3-2 winners in this five-goal thriller last season at the Phillips 66. Here's how they line up. John Madison, Luke Trotman, Tom Elliott, Joseph Wheatley, Liam Hughes, Terence Galbraith, Alex Henshaw, Jordan Nicholson, Simon Aimed, Harvey Saunders and Stephen Thompson. Speaking to home fans before this game, they are desperate for three points here this afternoon. Here's Joe Clark for the breaks. Just lets his touch get away. And Harvey Saunders has played through here. There's Junior English backtracking. And he's conceded the free kick. It was Joe Clark there, lost the ball in the middle. It's a good ball through the uh, breaks defence and Junior English committing the foul. I think he knew what he was doing there, Junior English. As Harvey Saunders has had a free run down the left hand side. Uh, Tom Elliott and Jordan Nicholson standing over this one then for the away side it's struck and it's a good save by Tony Breeden had to be alert there it was uh, Joseph Wheatley beg pardon with the free kick it was uh, arrowing into that top corner Breeden had to be alert Be a ball up towards Jack Edwards. Madison's come a long way and he's not reached it. And it's cleared off the line by Terence Galbraith. Well, nervous times there for John Madison. He was caught in no man's land and J Jack Edwards won the header against him. But Terence Galbraith was there to spare the goalkeeper's blushes and clear off the line. Uh, Jack Edwards' physicality proving trumps once again for the breaks. Trotman is calling for it on that right hand side. Hughes instead looks to arrow towards the left. There's Ainge. Henshaw. Tom Elliott. Darlington just probing. Trotman. It's a ball in towards Harvey Saunders. It's a good save and it's turned in. And it's the captain, Simon Ainge, with the breakthrough. 17 minutes gone. And Darlington lead 1 0 here at the Phillips 66. It was Luke Trotman with the burst through midfield from right back. It was a great ball into Harvey Saunders. His shot was well parried by. Tony Breeden, but Simon Ainge made no mistake and buried home to give the away side a 1 0 lead here. Galbraith. Tom Elliott. Nixon again, here's Ainge. Ainge! Just past Tony Breen's left hand post. Far too much space there for the Darlington striker. Edwards with the flick on. 
Here's Dunbar. I've got a man over here, Lemmington. Dunbar delivers. Here's Edwards! It's blocked on the line, but I think it was a combination of Madison and Joseph Wheatley. Hughes. Wheatley, this is good football by Darlington, just probing for an opening. Thompson, here it comes, here's Nicholson. Tries the efforts. It's tipped round the post by Tony Breeden. Once again, in the space of about five minutes, Darlington have had about three shots from the same position just outside the D. Kieran Dunbar gets the ball in, there's Dwyer! And it is inches away. I thought that was an offside, that flag there, but Dwyer with a free header just crept past John Madison's left hand post. What a chance for the breaks. Here's Gittins. English. Searching ball for Dwyer. Goes down under the challenge of Galbraith. Nothing given by the referee. Here's Thompson. Over the halfway line, Stephen Thompson. It's a ball through to Nicholson. It's a great ball. It's Saunders. It's 2 0 to Darlington. From one end of the pitch to the other, in a flash, the away side. Dwyer went down to the challenge, it was nothing given. Stephen Thompson able to bring it away for the away side, over the halfway line. It was a searching ball into Jordan Nicholson. He was tackled, it fell to Harvey Saunders, who made no mistake. And planted through the feet of Tony Breeden. To give Darlington a 2-0 advantage here on 32 minutes. And if Leamington's task wasn't hard before, it is all the more difficult now. It's Leamington nil, Darlington two. Here's Trotman now, space in front of him. Over the halfway line. Stephen Thompson. Nicholson. Still allowed to drift, but it's a poor ball in towards uh, Henshaw it's up towards Dwyer he's done well to hold off the challenge of Galbraith still Dwyer still and still but he's gone in gone in quite high there Anthony Dwyer desperate to keep the ball after all his hard work just caught the Darlington player and the physio has been called onto the pitch and uh, Tom Parsons has a big decision here to make cards out the pocket it's red and Leamington's afternoon's just gone from bad to worse as they're two goals down and now a man down the man who earned his starting position after the departure of Matt Stenson has been dismissed. After 38 minutes. He did really well on the right hand side, Anthony Dwyer, to keep the ball. It just got away from him and he lunged in. He lunged in on Simon Ainge. The challenge was high. And uh, the modern game just can't do that and Dwyer is sent for an early shower and the focal point of Leamington's attack now sitting on the bench so then five minutes before half time Leamington 2 nil down and down to 10 men Edwards just cutting out Galbraith's pass and Elliot retains his Henshaw back to Tom Elliot into the area there's Nicholson slipped the vital moment and loops his shot over the bar Luke Trotman gliding up the field. Nicholson into the area. There's Saunders. It's a great save by Tony Breeden down to his right-hand side. 
The Darlington fans around me thought for all they're worth that was creeping in the bottom corner, but Tony Breeden was alert down to his right-hand side very quickly to deny Harvey Saunders what would have been his second goal of the game and Darlington's third. Edwards with a hook up towards uh, Colby Bishop up in the air. Hughes has done well. And it's a searching ball towards Nicholson. Nicholson towards the back post. Lane's not dealt with it. Shouts for hands, not given. And it's cleared away by Leamington. Here come two Leamington changes. The final ones that Paul Holleran can make the last throw of the dice to try and salvage something from this game. And it will be Reese Flanagan and James Bowen that will be coming on for the breaks. Here's James Bowen with this throw in then. Didn't quite have the distance, shots for hands and the referee concurs. And Leamington have a lifeline here. Uh, Stephen Thompson back there just controlling the ball with his hand from James Bowen's throw-in. And uh, Colby Bishop stepped up here for the breaks. The man just under a year out with a horrific ACL problem returns and has the chance to get Leamington back into this game. The 10 men of Leamington. Up steps Colby Bishop. And he bullets it home, Corby Bishop into the top right hand corner, gets the goal and his return to the team following such a long period out with injury. He will be so relieved with that Corby Bishop, very confident penalty from a man who hasn't touched the ball on the pitch for over eight months. And Leamington have a lifeline, it's Leamington 1, Darlington 2. Here's Galbraith then bringing the ball out of defence over the halfway line, looking for an option. Henshaw on the left hand side. And Flanagan has caught Galshaw here. He's gone for the spectacular Flanagan. It's just wide of uh, John Madison's post. But demonstrated there by uh, Reese Flanagan the belief that Leamington now have that they can get something out of this game. There's Galbraith up against Edwards. Dunbar will challenge and win the header. Here's Colby Bishop, brings the ball under control. James Bowen tries the ball out to Kieran Dunbar. It's found the winger. There's Flanagan for support. Tries the ball in. It's a corner kick to Leamington. Just under 70 minutes gone. In it comes then. Ping pong, it's there! It's Jack Edwards! He's brought the brakes level! 23 minutes into the second half! And it's Leamington 2, Darlington 2, the 10 men of Leamington have scored two goals in the space of five minutes! And now the home side will believe they can go on and win this game! Spectacular scenes here at the Phillips 66. It's Leamington 2, Darlington 2. Well, these fixtures between these two sides never do fail to disappoint, do they? 20 minutes remaining on the clock. Trotman. Thompson into the area. Breeden came. It's broken to Galbraith. It was a terrific block. That's Flanagan. Bowen now 
sees the run of Colby Bishop. It's in towards the striker, but uh, the ball's too long. It's back to John Madison. End to end stuff here at the Phillips 66. Once again, Lane needs to watch this. Does well. Here's Dunbar. Plays back to Edwards. A first time ball back to the winger. Can he get there? Keeps it in. Size is there, but Dunbar retains possession. Gittins. Here's Bishop. Back towards Gittins. What a save from Madison. Gittins to the back post. It's a good save by Madison there tonight. Callum Gittins. A good move by Gittins and Colby Bishop. But uh, John Madison stood, stood strong. Lamington with a terrific comeback. The 10 men of Lamington with a terrific comeback against Darlington, but they could be in here. His eight into the side netting. Well, some fans on my on this side of the pitch on the left thought that was in. The Darlington faithful in that corner. Here's Sires then, it's a good move by Darlington, this is Thompson, dragged his shot wide, just didn't drop down enough in front of him, Stephen Thompson, it's a bit close to him, didn't look comfortable taking the shots, and it showed with the quality of the finish, way wide of Tony Breen's goal. Up then, there's Harvey Saunders, Ainge turns back but can only find a yellow shirt, it's Callum Gittins, who win the throw in. The referee looks at his watch and there's the final whistle. And it's a valuable, valuable point for Leamington. A fantastic comeback by the 10 men of the breaks to go two goals and a man down before the half-time whistle and to come out with a point as a fantastic feat. It's finished here, Leamington two, Darlington two. Yeah, I don't know how I got to the room more.